Marjorie Taylor Greene is one of those lawmakers who thinks that we need to watch videos of her workouts. Um, I don't know when this became a thing with politicians, but I wish it hadn't. Um, and so today she had tweeted this, this is my COVID protection, hashtag make America healthy again, it's time to fire Fauci. And embedded in that tweet was the goofy video that you're about to watch right now. <laughs> So there are two issues at play here, Brett. Issue number one is what I already brought up. Um, politicians posting videos or people in general, honestly, posting videos of themselves working out, um, which we'll get to in a minute. But we also need to discuss the fact that um, CrossFit is snake oil. And uh, you know there have been some negative comments about her so-called form in that, in that video. But according to CrossFit, her form is A-OK. -okay. Uh, harming your back and your rotator cuffs um, is great in the battle against COVID, you know, according to Marjorie Taylor Greene. Okay. I love it. It's basically <laughs> like, I love CrossFit. A friend of mine lived across the street from a CrossFit gym for a while, and it was it is just clanking and grunting and and like sad rope thuds. Like mm -hmm. it's like that thing. And it and it's herky jerks like that. It's like it's as though cuz you know that I I haven't really learned anything more about CrossFit than that. I've watched the championship. It's fantastic, but it they always have this like base level of it where like human beings evolved so that and then it's something that is somehow related to human being evolution. This one is like, so the only real way to burn calories is to do the kind of stuff you do when fighting a bear. You just like <laughs> push the bear and then you like <laughs> grapple with the bear, you grab its legs and you fling them all around. And, and just the violence with which she drops it can't be good. And then this, it's just flailing. This is it. I am bad at working out. And so I'll just randomly convulse to be like, there's got to be some calories going away. And you'd think after all of this, she'd be done with the crazy. Like she'd get it out. Yeah, that's such a good how, point. How does she still have the energy to be annoying? She's got it's endless. It's at, well, it's because she's not working. I mean, she was kicked off of her committee assignments because she's, um, you know, an advocate for violence against her political opponents. Um, so she's got some free time. You know, why not? Uh, why not engage in this and uh, also do other lunatic stuff? Um, but I guess I have like. Uh, I love our members and our viewers, and I know that some of them are probably CrossFit aficionados, and I don't want them to feel offended at my commentary, okay? Just know that I love you guys, and people have different preferences, and please don't take this personally. Some of my, some of my good friends are CrossFit aficionados, okay? Um, I think those workouts are stupid. I think that they damage your body, and I think that, um, Despite the incessant argument that it does not make women bulky, I think it makes women bulky. There, I said it, I don't care, I said it. And look, if you're into that look, if you're into that look, all the power to you. Some women love that, and I think that's great. But I, this is what I don't like. I don't like when people, I don't want to be, I don't like bulky. I like toned, I like lean, like my, I love like a dancer's body, right? Everyone's got their preferences. And I've always really like loved the long lean muscle tone of a dancer's body. So like sometimes when someone who loves CrossFit gets into a debate with me about it, they'll be like, no man, you don't know, you don't know. You're not gonna get bulky because you're a woman. Women don't get bulky, women don't have testosterone. But like every time I see women who, and like she's, I'm not saying she's bulky, I'm not really talking about her, but I'm talking about like actual, like they do CrossFit religiously. No, they're bulky though, guys. Come on, don't lie to me. They are, they are. They got big muscles, they got giant glutes, giant thighs, giant arms, and that's for them. I, great, that's what they're going for, all the power to them. If I don't want that for me, don't tell me that that won't happen to me if I do CrossFit or if I start doing like intense weight training. 
that that's, I guess this has been, you know, really killing me internally and I'm glad I, I get to take it out. Anna, you don't get it though. <laughs> you have to do what I say, it'll free you up. <laughs> you, you don't understand the freedom of doing exactly what I tell you to do in ways that you've already expressed you are averse to and would suffer great pain from. There's no way that's good for your joints, dude. That yeah, is after a wake, workout, have some not. beers. <laughs> <laughs> that was stupid. No, and you're right, that can't be good for you. I, I don't care if it's a perfect form in the CrossFit world. Like, I'm I'm not buying it. I'm it might work out some muscles, but you're also doing some damage. Um so I'm I'm putting that out there. I'm putting it out there. You can't change my mind about that. Um and again, I really want to reiterate, I don't think that it's bad that other people want to look a certain way, but everyone has their preferences, right? So I just, I prefer a certain body type for me. I don't want anyone to get offended by that. But with that said, it makes a lot of sense that Marjorie Taylor Greene would be a fan of CrossFit. Because I think the other part of it is the people who are super into CrossFit are almost cultish about it. And Marjorie Taylor Greene does gravitate toward cults. Like Hunter, I, mean, I was thinking the exact same enough. thing. Right? The exact same it's thing. Perfect for her. Yeah. 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 No, I, I agree. Her. Because because what it does is it pulls everybody toward it. It's so strange the overlapping aspects of, whoa, no, you don't understand. If you look into like specific aspects listed in our DNA, which is like the same as a code. Which is <laughs> what QAnon people are all about. I'm glad you said it because yes, it's 100% absolutely a cult, and and not everyone who's involved in it is a, is cultish. But I think that there's there's a lot to it. The intensity that people have is is undeniable surrounding stuff like that. Yeah, and and look look. Grand scheme of things, if you're out there, you know, being active, you're getting physical activity, that's great. And so I would prefer that than not getting any physical activity at all. But just please take care of your backs and your, your joints because that does not look good for you. Um, so the other part of it, Brett, is the political people posting their workouts and you know, this is not a this is not a partisan issue. Um, Tulsi Gabbard was notorious for doing this. Uh, we have some B-roll of her uh, one of the workouts, one of the many workouts that she posted uh, on Twitter, and um, you know, it was the thirst trap videos uh, played well with you know the Michael Tracys of the world. So I get it, I totally get it. Um, but I just don't care about politicians and their workouts. Like I, I don't want to know about that part of their lives, whether it's a man or a woman. Like even if it's a hot male politician, I don't want to see you work out, bro. Like I want, I want healthcare. Like I want you to do your job. I don't, I don't care about how you're, you're getting it in. You know, you're making sure you're, you're making yourself sweat. You're a hard worker. You're getting healthy every day. I don't care. Don't care. Don't care at all. And did it Marjorie Taylor Greene say something like, this is how I fight. This is my COVID protection. It's like, that's not, that's exactly it. She tweet, her tweet is word for word. This is my COVID protection. Make right. America healthy again. It's time to fire Fauci. Like that is yeah, not, not COVID protection, you total moron. That is yeah. wrong. Exactly. I mean, I didn't even touch on that because I felt like it didn't even need to be said. I, you had professional athletes getting pretty sick with COVID. Um, I was reading about one athlete who died, uh, not a well-known one, but a, a professional athlete died from COVID. It, physical activity, um, it could be good for you if you've been physically active. If you have a good, um, you know, health standing, and you get COVID, you're less likely to, you know, die from it. That's certainly true. Um, but working out isn't going to protect you from coronavirus. And yeah, she puts out that uh, misinformation, uh, which is unsurprising coming from Marjorie Taylor Greene. Uh, look, the only workout that I ever cared about in the political world was that of um, the late Ruth Bader Ginsburg, who in you know the final years of her life uh, detailed what her workouts were like. Uh, I'll remind you all of what that was, Let's take a look. I have a personal trainer who keeps me in shape. We meet twice a week and we do it in the evening and we do 20 push-ups, uh, 
we do 10 and then I breathe, take a deep breath, and then do 10 more. On your knees or the real? Oh, no, 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 real. And then, and then the plank, which I think is harder. And that's for 30 seconds. And, and I kind of sink down and then we do another 30 seconds. So that mattered because of obvious reasons. Uh, she was a Supreme Court justice uh, who was in her elderly age during the Trump administration and people wanted to know whether or not she was healthy. And so the context mattered in this case, which is randomly posting videos of yourself working out as a young member of Congress um, is just being a Chad. It's just like no one cares. Like leave that, leave that to Hassan, okay? You're a United States Congress person, do your job. Don't care about your workouts. So that's where I stand on that issue. One last thing I'll add is mm -hmm. there is, I have a different justification for people not doing this anymore. It's not because it's annoying. It's not because it's, it's, it's go flies in the face of science. It's just that you'll never do it better than Al Gore and Bill Clinton in little booty shorts. Did I pull it up on Playout B? Yes, I did pull it up on Playout B. So if we want to show that, those two gentlemen, oh, not my only God. going for a walk, they're all out with probably a ball out. Just look at those milky, creamy, high, high he's got high thighs. When you, first, because everyone reads from left to right, on the left, you see gore. And you're like, all right, those are some pretty short. What the goodness gracious me. I can see inside Bill's Clinton. And then the best part, I think that we don't want to, they're holding McDonald's cups. <laughs> oh my God, that's so true. I didn't even realize that until you pointed it out. Stay healthy, that's, guys. That's what a lot of people do, to be honest. Like, it's your diet has a lot more to do with like your weight and your health. Like, it's good to work out, but if you're just working out to lose weight, you're gonna have a tough time. Um, you got to eat healthy. That's that's a huge part of the equation. Uh, I, I'm gonna say that I like the short shorts. I like the short shorts on guys. I think they look cute, even in that context. Yes, I said it. I think they look cute. My yeah, those guys are. <laughs> After a workout, emphasize. have some beers. I'm uncomfortable <laughs> with seeing the tip of Al Gore's penis very clearly. Like I it know is it's very. Right there. It's right there, and it's so inappropriate. Chris and then likes to wear short shorts. <laughs> <laughs> Thought we were trying to cut back that that mention. Uh, in the behind him too, is the the Secret Service guy. Like that's a Secret Service guy forced to blend in. Was this the thing in the nineties? I don't remember. No, don't this remember is a, this is a thing shorts. in the nineties. In the nineties, it was a time when your dad wore shorts like this. Or for my dad, loved shorts like that. He would get so mad at how long my shorts were. And then, because uh, for me, it's the really long ones past your knee. Like I had a complex where if it went down, if it didn't cover my knee, I felt really weird about it. That's it. Yeah. Yeah, I remember that in the 90s. Um, don't remember the short shorts, even with fathers like wearing them. I don't remember that. But, you know, short shorts among men, it's definitely made a comeback in, in recent years. So uh, we have that to look forward to, guys. You know, with everything falling apart, at least we have males in short shorts. Thanks for watching The Young Turks. I really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR, so those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.